All right, people keep asking me ridiculous questions like, hey Jamie, why don't you buy your wood instead of making it? Why don't you get some land with a road? Uh, why don't you, why didn't you buy a house instead of building it? Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to explain this to people who don't just get it already. Uh, there are a lot of reasons for this. Um, I wrote down a couple here on my blackboard. Self-sufficiency. From the time I was a little baby, I wanted to be able to do things for myself. I think most people uh, can understand this because when you're a baby, you scream and cry because you can't do things, you can't move your hands, and then you can, you can start doing more things. Well, it seems like a lot of people, by the time they get to maybe five years old, are done learning. And they're like, all right, that's it. You know, I can just be a lazy butt for the rest of my life. But I chose not to do that route. I want to keep learning and uh, I want to be able to take care of myself. All right. Now, number two, your world sucks. This is re in reference to the people who would ask the ridiculous questions. Now, you other people, you know, this isn't for you, obviously, because you're super cool and will understand everything in this video. Um, let me, I don't, I don't even know where to start here. Um, okay, let's start with here. Bad water. You people in your ridiculous cities keep polluting your own water. Um, I don't know how to express to people that, you know, this is something you really need. Water is like the basic thing for your own life and you crap in it all the time. So, that explains a big part of what I'm doing here. I have a spring on my own property, up in the mountains. I own all the property that where the water comes through. It's clean. I drink spring water that's not chlorinated and hasn't been processed, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's see. You know, I can also say something about the air quality, and but I think you get the point. Let's see. Most people are wasteful. This is still under the heading of your world sucks. All right, let me just uh, show you a couple of things. See this? A uh, plastic bottle gets used one time for a drink. Someone goes to the store, buys this, tons of resources have gone into the production of this crappy piece of plastic, which is actually pretty nice, except for the fact that it's getting thrown in the garbage after one use. Also, you can poison yourself with high fructose corn syrup. Isn't that exciting? I, I have to say, duh. All right. I could go on and on about your wastefulness, but never mind. Leaving the lights on all the time. All right. Which brings me to another point. People are lazy. I don't want to be part of your lazy world where people sit on their butts, think they can just throw money at everything to fix it, and no one ever does anything. If I'm gonna be alive, I wanna live. I wanna be alive and do things. I don't wanna sit on the couch, on my butt, being a lazy, whatever. Now, most people I know are unhappy. I am very happy. That's another reason why I do things for myself. It makes me happy. I don't think people are made happy by sitting in a chair for eight hours a day or 12 hours a day in a suit and tie being stuffy, pretending that they're uh, very important people and very busy. They got very important stuff to do. Hello, hello, Mr. Nothing. I'm talking to you about nothing. Seeing as I'm a middleman, I do absolutely nothing. You people should be worshiping farmers and the sky and the water and the ground because because without that stuff, you would all be dead. Now, which brings me to my third main point, health. I do things for myself because it is healthy to do that. We did not evolve in an environment where things were done for us. However, we are now, but that's only in the last 50 years. Humans in general have evolved uh, doing things for themselves, the more they can do for themselves, the happier they are in general for a lot of reasons. Because when you do more things, your body becomes stronger. Wow, strong, yay. Now when you do things and think for yourself, you become smarter, which lets you figure out more things. Now, this brings me to uh, exactly why I, you know, the last question I got was why are you cutting your own wood, it would be faster to buy it. First of all, it wouldn't be faster because I'd have to go to a job to pay for that wood and all that time would be sucked up. Instead, I could build the lumber mill and cut my own wood. But in building the lumber mill, 
and cutting my own wood. I'm learning things all the time, every day, and I think that's great. And lets me be creative because that makes me happy and I don't really see any point in anything being alive except to, I mean, there is no real point. So you might as well try to do something new or creative, you know, do bring something into the world that isn't already there or else it's, you know, we're just doing nothing. <sighs> Hold on. All right, I just had to re, uh, do some stuff on my chalkboard here. And I have another point. Recycling is good. You know what else? And it's cool, because this guy says so. And I don't care how how bad you silly people look at me when I'm at the junkyard rummaging around in uh, the scrap pile pulling out aluminum pipes and stuff. Oh, look at that guy. He's getting dirty. Ooh, gross. Yeah, well, screw you. I'm super cool because I'm recycling. And uh, plus I'm saving money. And I'm taking some garbage out of the garbage system and putting it into the useful system, which is great because... We have a limited number of resources. You may not want to believe this, it's a ton of them, yes, but we do have an limited amount. Now when we started using oil, however many years ago, it seemed like there was just so much oil on this planet we could never even come close to using it all. There's no way! Well now we're at a point where we could conceivably use up every scrap of oil on the entire planet. Now. We're going to have the same problems with solar power, wind, any anything where you're using energy from a, taking energy out of a system and using it for something else. You might say, well, why, how could you have a problem with solar power? Solar power is great. Yes, it is great. But you have to be careful with everything you do and think about it. Say we start putting up solar panels everywhere. Suddenly we're blocking out 25% of the sun from the planet. Oh, that seems ridiculous, Jamie. Yeah, we'll tell it to the people who started first drilling oil all those years ago. Yeah, suddenly, you know, we're blocking out too much sunlight, no plants can grow, bam, ice age, ah, oh, we're screwed. Or maybe we start blocking all this wind with windmills, you know, because we are because we need more and more power. We need so much power that everyone can have a huge screen TV and leave it on all the time. So we put up those windmills everywhere, and suddenly the wind can't get where it needs to go, and the wind changes, and the weather changes, and the climate is totally screwed, and suddenly everything gets too hot, or this, this area gets too wet, and it won't dry out because the wind can't get through, and... It's everything starts rotting and producing methane, then we all choke to death our own methane. Great. Anyway, here, we've got like a little solar system, and it's a closed system. Nothing is going to come in from outside the solar system to give us more stuff. And see this? This here is the sun. It has a certain amount of energy, and once it's all gone, that's it. There is not, it's not like there's more. Now, the only chance for us to survive past that, yes, that's a long, long way off. But you know what? Some people actually think about 5 billion years in the future. At least that's what Doctor Who said it was. He said it was like 5 billion on Doctor Who the Earth burned up in 5 billion years. Anyway, um, so there's a limited number of resources. So if you can not waste them, it's a really good thing because one day we'll run out. And... It might not seem like a big deal now, but when they're running out, people are going to be saying, Oh my god, I wish we'd, I wish we'd just not wasted all those resources all those years ago. Oh my gosh, if like, everyone just turned off their lights. Oh my god, like, for like, an extra five minutes a day, over 10,000 years, we, we wouldn't have wasted all this energy, we wouldn't be screwed. Alright, that... Uh, I don't, I don't want to go on anymore about this crap, so don't ask me any more ridiculous questions about why. So that's it, alright? Now I'm just going.